The Environmental Justice Program at Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Stockton would like to wish you a happy Earth Day. If you have not yet seen our TikTok page, please use the link in the description to give us a follow or check out some of them now. 34% of children and 20% of adults suffer from moderate to severe asthma. Incidences of asthma are most common in low-income communities and communities of color, with folks living at 300% below the federal poverty line having the highest rate of asthma. In San Joaquin County, we are the fourth highest user of agricultural pesticides which contribute to toxic air pollution. In 2019, 40% of San Joaquin County residents identified the decrease of air pollution as a requirement to improving community health. Tuolumne River is a beautiful body of water that flows from the high Sierra Nevada mountains down to the San Joaquin River. On its trip, it makes its way to the lower part of Modesto, where it falls victim to pesticide runoff and illegal dumping. This lake used to host a sprawling ecosystem with a multitude of wildlife. However, the current pollutants in the lake make it impossible for many species to thrive. The Tuolumne River also used to provide fresh drinking water to the indigenous population of Central California for thousands of years. It is time that cities across America take up the responsibility of cleaning up their green spaces so that nature can thrive. Although January did have rainfall and early winter storms in Northern California, which have helped ease the extreme conditions of this ongoing California drought, it is still far from being over. But what exactly is a drought? A drought is generally defined as a period of time that can last days, weeks, months, and even years of prolonged dryness caused by low precipitation that result in water sh shortage problems. California's cities and agriculture grow more than a third of the nation's crops and products, which rely on the Sierra Nevada mountains for snowpacks for water. Over the next decades, we would see how climate change will play a big factor in reducing water supply, increasing wildfire risk, decreasing agriculture productivity, and threatening coastal ecosystems. We are the Catholic voice behind vulnerable communities facing environmental injustices. If you are interested in starting your own environmental justice program, feel free to reach out to us for support.